Hey guys, it's Friday and we time for another Power Minute. If you're wondering why I look different today than the rest of the week, it's because apparently we had some technical glitches in the Power Minute that I had recorded. So you guys get me in uh, this sweater that's going to make an appearance for the next two weeks. You'll get it when you see it later. But uh, anyway, uh, today's Power Minute is called Heed the Warning. Our verses 1 Thessalonians 5, 18 and 19. It says, give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. My home smoke detector beeps every once in a while. It alerts me of problems in my home, even when no one is smoking. Recently, in the middle of a storm, my electricity went off for a bit, and the smoke detector took on a mind of its own. It started beeping a lot, so I opened it up and removed the battery and eventually detached the electrical connection to shut it up. The beeping stopped, but so did my warning of an impending problem. This illustration might sound irrelevant until you think about how we approach the Holy Spirit. Too often we try the same approach with the Holy Spirit. We hear him warning us that something is wrong. We've stepped far from God and danger is around the bend. But instead of figuring out why the beeping won't stop, we simply detach the electrical connection in order to obtain temporary peace of mind. The problem with our strategy is that when we disconnect from God, we miss the warnings of the impending disaster. How is your connection with the Holy Spirit? Are you heeding his beeping or have you chosen to unplug? There may be more at stake for you than you think if you don't heed the Spirit's warning. Now think about this. How does the Holy Spirit want to warn you of the danger of your sin patterns? How have you handled his warnings? So uh, I guess the application is pretty obvious. If you know that what you're doing is leading you down a path to disaster, stop. And maybe the Holy Spirit is using me today to put that voice in your head to say, don't go down that path. Like that scary movie where you're walking down the path, knowing that disasters are on the bend. Don't do it. And so if you are wondering why you can't hear the Spirit in your life, why there's some noise in your soul, it could be as simple as uh, uh, because you're not heeding the warning to uh, no longer walk according to your ways, but to follow God in his ways. So I know these are tough things. Nobody wants to hear about repentance in 2021. We all want to feel like we're doing whatever we want to do, and it's okay. But God's word does urge us to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord. And so if you're a Christian, uh, would you consider how is it in your life right now? Are you walking in a manner that pleases God? And if not, will you turn around? There's still a chance to do that. And so I want to, I want that. I want the Spirit's voice in my soul and my ears. I want to feel the closeness of the Spirit of God. I know God never abandons us and leaves us. I know that our salvation is secure in Him, but I want to experience the sense of his presence. I want to see him work. And I know that uh, when I'm living in obedience, I see that in a much more magnified way. So um, let's pray for revival. Why don't we do that? As we end this week and step into the weekend, let's pray that God will revive us and set our hearts on fire for him again. If you need prayer for revival, just click the like button. It's just my way of knowing that you read this power minute. I love it when y'all leave comments and uh, have a great weekend. You know, maybe you can share, uh, you know, something about your life here in the comment section today. You know, what is it that you're working through right now? Or what are you hoping to accomplish this weekend? So love to hear from you. All right, you guys have a great day.